King Solomon said, I said in my heart, God shall judge the righteous and the wicked, for there is a time, there for every purpose and for every work. Injustice often has a boomerang effect, which means evil done intentionally. I am not talking about injustice with no intention, which we commit at times by lack of information. We all are subject by committing an injustice without knowing it. I'm talking about the unjust who intentionally is harming someone and they don't feel bad about it. They know that they are lying, harming someone with their lie and they insist on their lie, they defend their lie. I'm talking about this unjust person. This type of injustice usually has a boomerang effect. They do evil against someone and apparently they get away with it. It seems that they won and evil has overcome good, that the lie has overcome the truth, is what it seems. But as it is written, God will judge the righteous and the wicked, for there is a time for every purpose and for every work, which means even though God is the righteous judge and he judges the righteous and the wicked and he gives us them according to their work and purpose, there's a time, which means this is the anguish that remains in the heart of the unjust, the one who commits the injustice, this waiting time for God's judgment that makes the righteous unjust, for wanting to take justice into their own hands, because they could not wait for God's judgment. And in this, they became unjust. They lost the trust, faith in the righteous judge. Understand, God said, now the just shall live by faith. It does not say that the just shall live by the justice of this world. No, the just shall live by faith. This means that the just, the one who trusts in God, will go through injustices. But if they are just, they live by their faith and not because everything is going well in their life. Did you understand? Listen carefully. Try to digest what I just told you. The just shall live by their faith, which means the just will experience injustice. He won't live because he's just and everybody's just towards him. No, he will live by his own faith. His faith will help them to overcome even the injustices that certainly he will face in this life. Because despite being righteous, they live in an extremely unfair world. So without faith, it's impossible for the righteous to live. Because if the righteous, the just, has no faith, what they will do? They won't be able to wait for God's justice. They will take the weapons in their own hands and go against the unjust, those who harm them. Because they will say, I can't handle this, this is too much injustice, I won't wait for God's justice, which means, in the moment that they hurry to do justice, they cease to be righteous because they stopped believing. It's the only thing that makes us just, righteous before God. It's not because we are nice or because we are better than everyone else. The only thing that makes us right with God is our faith. So if you say, I suffered injustice, I will not accept. Then you try to make justice with your own hands and you don't wait for God's judgment. In that moment, you stopped being just. 
then you also become liable for God's justice, for your injustice. Listen, just as Solomon said, God shall judge the righteous and the wicked, for there is a time there for every purpose and for every work. He meant that sometimes God allows injustice because there is a purpose even in injustice. Even in injustice, God uses injustice to fulfill certain purposes. It depends on the situation. The purpose may be of teaching the righteous patience, perseverance, confidence, maybe to exalt the righteous in the eyes of others. As we see in many examples in the Bible, you see the story, the example of Mordecai in the Bible. He had been humiliated by Haman. You can read this in the book of Esther. He has been humiliated by his enemy who planned the extinction of the Jews. And in a plot twist, in a movie scene, Mordecai is exalted. And his enemy is the one designated by the king to give honors to Mordecai. Sometimes God allows injustice with the purpose to exalt the just before their enemy's eyes. But the righteous must keep on believing. They must keep on trusting. This is what you must understand. So this message teaches for the unjust. First thing, you who are committing injustice consciously, you harming someone, you lied, you cheated, you stole, you betrayed, you did something wrong and you know that you harmed others. And until today, you haven't redeemed yourself, you haven't fixed your injustice. Know this. This time will pass. The time for the purpose of your injustice will pass. And when it passes, judgment will come to you. Be certain of that. Injustice has a boomerang effect. It will come back to you. I speak to the unjust as a warning. Because as long as you listen to me, there's opportunity for you to repent. And the only way for you to cancel this boomerang from coming back towards your forehead is when you repent. Is you bowing before God and the boomerang will go over your head. If you humble sincerely, God can forgive you and set you free. But if you insist, this evil will come back to you. Another message for those who are suffering injustice. Do not give in to the temptation to take justice into your own hands. The moment you do that, you stop believing. You stop being just. And the just shall live by faith. If you are just, you live by faith. Because faith is part of your righteousness. Keep believing that God will preserve you, that He will make justice, that He will do better than you. This faith is part of the righteous one. So as a person who believes in God, you bear it, you take hold, you suffer. I know it's hard. It's a terrible time. This time here that is written, for there's a time there for every purpose and for every work. This time is difficult, but it passes passes and then you will learn what that saying means. Who laughs last, laughs best. So hold on, hold on and take this time of injustice that you also may learn what is the purpose. Because the one who suffers injustice resists it, is so upset or taken by wrath because of injustice and they miss out the lesson, the purpose of injustice. Injustice comes to fulfill a purpose. So when you suffer injustice, what do you must do? You must say, oh my God, this is upsetting me, is hurting me, is cutting me in half. However, I know that there is a purpose to this. I still don't know what it is, but show me so that I can learn 
that I can embrace and that purpose is fulfilled in my life as soon as possible. This is how the just should deal with injustice. Believe in this. Can you still believe? Can you keep your faith in God despite the injustice, embracing, understanding the purpose that later you may be exalted? If today's video helped you and you know someone that could benefit from it, share it with them and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you may do so now. See you later.